Okay, so with the goal of pulling that perfect vacuum, we're gonna start by filling the container entirely full of water. And to make it easier for you to see, I've just added some blue food coloring. So we just have blue food coloring water, and I've got the hose. I've got both ends held in my hand so that way it doesn't just all pour, pour out the other end. And I'm gonna very carefully fill the hose all the way up so there's no air bubbles left. The only question I've got to ask myself now is did I make enough of this blue liquid? It's looking like there's a bunch of air bubbles in there, but we will get we will get them out. Shaking the air bubbles up. I want them to work their way up to the top. I can't hear you. Bowl? Can I just use this one? We're just going to top it off. We got the last little bit. All the bubbles went to the top. We're almost there, and I'm really going to make sure I get all of the, oops, it has flowed over, and then, so that way it stays full until we're ready to go, I'm going to put a stopper in at each end, and so as you can see, there are no bubbles present in there. And so now we're going to take this over to the physics part. See you in a little bit. Alrighty. Okay. So Mr. Hampton is going to start passing the hose down from the physics perch. And this is the same hose that we just filled up in my lab moments ago. We filled it completely with that blue liquid, which is just water with blue food coloring. We just added the blue food coloring, so that way you could see it easier from afar. And there are no air bubbles. We've got both ends stoppered. And so 
When we look at this, we are just getting a column of, of, of water. So it's as if somebody had already done the hard work of sucking the liquid all the way to the top. However, we do not get the full effect of somebody having sucked all the liquid to the top unless we take this end right here, this lower end that's just gotten to me, and we put it in a container of cider, or in this case, blue water, for somebody to drink. Because we have to expose this end to the outside air pressure. Mr. Hansen, can I get another, uh, thank you. So I put it underneath the surface of the blue water, and and now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull out the stopper, if I can do it. Come on. There, I can tell that he did right now because my hands kind of collapsed a little bit more around the top of this straw. So I'm going to hold it up as close to exactly above where Mr. Muick has it. And I am just going to show right here, this area, there is, looks like nothing right there. And it looks like the water level line is down there a little bit more. So we'll try to get a zoom in of where the water level line is in relationship to where I am at the, at the top here. So the next thing that we want to do is we have this um, vacuum pump up here set up so that if you don't believe that this is a, a pure vacuum, okay, that's okay. I'm going to pull up with a pure vacuum and try to get that blue water all the way back up to the top. Okay? And then we have something else for you afterwards. So I'm going to release this side and the hose just reinflated, and right now all the liquid, all this blue water is going down to the bottom with Mr. Muick. And then I'm gonna pull it through about right here, this line, and I'm gonna move this to a spot where you can see I'm just attaching it right here into this vacuum pump. And now I'm gonna turn the vacuum pump on. And Mr. Muick, I'm relying on your eyes to tell me when I'm there. Well, from where I am, I cannot see the height of the column. Well, I can tell you right now that I have pulled pure vacuum, and there's nothing else that's going to happen right now. So I'm going to turn off the vacuum pump, and how can we get this liquid all the way up to the top now. Well, there's two different things we could do. We could tape off and seal the entirety of the Math and Science Center and add more air into it to increase the air pressure. That's a little bit unfeasible. So let's go with option two. What's option two, Mr. Hansen? Option two is if you guys and some of the classes that I had a discussion with said gravity is acting on the water, gravity is acting on the water through pressure, then what we would need to do is we'd need to change the gravity of the situation. Well, we can't change gravity itself, but we can change the, uh, the, uh, a different measure of gravity. We studied density, so why don't we change density instead of changing gravity? So right now, Mr. Muick has put this end of the hose into something that is lighter in terms of density. And we'll see what happens now that I try to suck it up. Is this as much slack as I have, Mr. Muick? Uh, yeah, that's it. OK. Fun fact. Another name for density is specific gravity. And look, there's that red liquid coming up over the top. And I'm going to pull it out right now. We'll try this one more time.
just to show you, pulling with the full vacuum. There we go. And should be coming up any second now. There it is. One more time. So if we make if we make the liquid have a lower we make the liquid have a lower specific gravity, a lower density, we can actually get it to the top of the fume or the uh, physics perch. Can't get it to the top of the physics perch if we got too heavy of a liquid like water. All right guys, we'll see you in class.